Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by the Standards Weekly Check-In. I'm Colin, behind the camera is Dylan. What's up? Today we're going to be going over a couple new arrivals, uh, looking through some weekly highlights and some recently priced records. As always, if you see anything you like, uh, you can hit the DMs on Instagram, you can call the shop, or you can just come in. We are open 11 to 8, 7 days a week, uh, despite purple code. This is official announcement, is uh, we're not um, having to close or anything yet so just you know keep wearing the masks keep coming in everything's kosher anyways um it is a standards uh weekly check-in so let's check in with each other dylan how you been living man uh just chilling just watching uh i realized that uh hbo max uh -huh. has all those studio ghibli movies yeah so just re-watching all these movies that i haven't seen in like two years or so <laughs> two years plus um just watching all those and you've just... been going deep cut man what's that uh what's that cat one the cat returns. Is that deep cut? Uh, kinda. No one really cares. <laughs> you might be right. I don't know. It's like it's a good one. What was that death metal one you were looking at? Death metal one. Yeah, the death metal Ghibli movie. <laughs> oh, Nausicaa, Valley of the Wind. Yeah. Am I wrong? Yeah, no, you're not wrong. Okay. Top three. Let's go. Uh, Nausicaa, Valley of the Wind. The death metal one. The death metal one. Only yesterday. It's the only non-fantasy one. Uh huh. And then uh. I don't know, it's a three-way tie, but I'll just say Kiki's Delivery Service. The, it's the one I've watched, I think, the most. How, I'm, a, I'm a complete neophyte in this world. How many of these films are there? You can watch them all in like, you know, a week. You ever done it? The Ghibli Challenge? No, not yet. I've seen them all, but not like in back-to-back -back or anything. Not like the, all right, done with this, next movie kind of deal. Is that theater that is it the Ken, right? That yeah. Would, like show them from time to time? Yeah. Rest in peace. I know. Well, actually, fuck, they got out at the right time, man. I think a lot of, I think rest in peace every theater now. They were just out of the curve. Man. <laughs> and I've been just, like, working overtime, man. Like, burning the candle at both ends, you know? Mm -hmm. Just not sleeping well. This is a two-part thing. One, I am, like, in terms of getting older, right? I'm either, I, I'm of the mindset that either, like, you, uh, you have to kind of embrace it to an extent, right? You don't want to be like the, the Steve Buscemi with the skateboard, how do you do fellow kids, right? Mm -hmm. But at the same time, uh, you don't, I think there's some people that lean a little too, like I'm an old man. Like it, you kind of start to become what you see yourself as, you know? Mm -hmm. So if I start to see myself as like an old withered body that's getting feebler by the day, then I'm gonna kind of become that. There's some like level where you have to acknowledge your limits, right? And here's the other side of that. Maybe I'm just getting old enough to have the wisdom to be like, yo, I need to take a break. Like on Sunday, it was really bad. I was on like very little hours of sleep and it was just like, our basic arithmetic was fucked up. Driving is a pain in the ass. It's bad, just get a lot of sleep, everyone. It's a, it's a good thing. So today I was like, I'm gonna do hardcore nothing. And I did hardcore nothing all damn day. Um, just, uh, and um, it was too much nothing. I needed to like exercise or go for a walk or something. <laughs> like I'm like a little stir crazy. So I don't know. Weird vibe in the room today because of that. But mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, that's what I've been going along. What have you been listening to? What's your weekly highlight? All right. Let's get into this. You no. Know, it's been a lot of Andrew WK lately. Um, yeah, I only started listening to this because you, you know, brought up the fact that he existed to me. Keep going. And like, you told me how like, when this came out, it, it like right now, it just reminds you of better days. And like, um, how it changed a lot of your uh, life, you know? So that's why I started listening to it. I basically never heard this album before. This is Dylan's little bit. This little fun time show. This is the Dylan fun time show, everyone. Yeah. No. Um. <laughs> I don't see. I see. I feel like you're trying to like like. Oh, haha! -ha, you're a AWK fan. I just don't. I I think he's a swell person. I love. I I think like. I think it's a problem people have. Is they're like, oh, that guy's cool. I have to like his music. I think he's a. He's. I, I love his energy. But yeah, I don't know if I need to. I don't know if I need to rock with the records ever. No. I've never felt that compulsion. But I know you're a fan. I am a big fan. Yeah. Ha -ha. I'm so sorry to ruin your haha. -ha. Yeah, it's fine. Everyone. I'm not I even am like a, a hater. I just like basically have never. I get really no, I am a big. Record. I am a big fan of Andrew WK. You hear me? You come in. You hear me listening to this. Pretty much in a good mood. 
Okay. Yeah. That's good to good to know. Yeah. Good time, good mood music. Yeah. This you, is a uh, for me. Listen, we got these two records in, and I've decided to pass an edict that you're not allowed to to not like these bands anymore. We got the Rebel of L.A. Uh, singles collection. We got the Newtown Neurotic singles collection, and it's like, yeah, you're just if everyone within earshot of this, you have to really like these bands. I'm not even saying you have to buy the records. I realize I would rather I would rather you listen to these, both of these records, both of these bands. Like, I would rather you listen to them for hours on end on YouTube for free than give me a penny of them or buy the records and then not listen to them. Like, I th I just I just believe in this music so much. And it's uh, brought so much joy into my life. Both of these groups, really. Um, so yeah, these two collections that are out right now, um, A++, just singles collections or whatever. So you're kind of getting, I like the Newtown Neurotics first LP more than the singles, but they're both, they're all 10 out of 10s, all great songs. Everyone listen to those bands. Cause um, yeah, uh, it's, uh, is it the best? It's, it's, it's the best vibe for old punk music, put it that way. Hmm. Maybe it's not the absolute peak of the best musically, but like, um, yeah, I just like that kind of like serious time, serious time punk. Hmm. They're great, great tunes, great music, etc. So the new arrivals, uh, I'm not gonna go through the whole thing. We did a little quick flip through vid uh, on the Instagram today. Just go over some highlights. This is a uh, really good, I guess you would call it cold wave uh, music, very synthesizer, drum driven, uh, really good group. Uh, this is some like jazzy uh, African reissue. Um, I, I, I'm, I listened to it and I really enjoyed it. I, I I hesitate to call it like jazz rock. It's maybe like jazz with rock instrumentation. I don't know. It's great though. Just the the Heshu Bishu. I don't always pronounce like that, but yeah, mm -hmm. great. This is uh, awesome from uh, Ronald from Going Underground. Put it out. Very. Um, Fans of uh, Generacion Suicida, other groups he's done, will dig this. It's great. Listen to it uh, quite a bit in the shop. Enjoyed it. Uh, I think you will too. Good, good newer punk. I, I can't remember if this is the newest Life album, if we've had this before, but I revisited, revisited or heard for the first time. I can't remember this. Really good, just fast Japanese hardcore. Fun listening to hardcore that's fast. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, a lot of the stuff you listen to, it's like heavy, it's this, it's that, or the other thing, but like a group that's like actively like playing fast hardcore is a, it's a fun, fun change of pace. Some um, kind of like biker punk stuff, very like motor beat, motorhead driven. Hmm. And um, after that, mostly reissues. Always a pleasure to have this back in the shop, the, the West Coast, West Coast's finest judge knockoff, of course. Classic record, you like straight edge hardcore at all. There you go. Guar. We've been kind of messing with them lately. I don't know if we want to make that public yeah, knowledge. No. Keep that to ourselves. <laughs> no, I mean, if you want to talk about it. Yeah, I think I'm okay. For whatever reason, it's just weird to talk about. Like, yeah, I, I listen to a lot of Guar lately. But anyways, like I said, there's videos posted to this stuff. Big, big, big collection I got in recently, which is I kind of teased out on the gram. It's been sort of chipped away, uh, but we'll get through, through these these two boxes here. This is kind of the cream of the crop. There's some other stuff um, in the mix. Just I don't know. I'm ecstatic about this whole stash that I got in. Um, some of the kind of heavier hitters in terms of uh, dollar numbers attached to them are gone, but they still just. A bunch of great music that's been cared for really well. This is like, even, I mean, the fact that this is like remnants of a collection after it's been picked over over the weekend is like, speaks to the quality of this stuff. A couple of bootlegs, some originals. Again, anything you like, hit the DMs, cruise by, give us a ring. Mail order is doable. I mean, you know, there's, yeah, there's a lot of, really good quality music and all these are clean. kind of fun the little bit of a deep cut uk prog i don't know if it, i don't know how deep cut it is Still a blast for you but uh, yeah that was a really enjoyable mm. one i did eno lately which i love yeah a lot of tom waits records good runs again clean 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 fun stuff roxy which i guess is tied to the eno deal another crate of killers Hey, killers, get it? Yeah, man. We can edit that it's, part out, I guess. It's been, uh, it's been good, dude. Like, I've been listening to that Talking Head 77 record, like, all day. Like, mixed with, like, Andrew WK. Not so much like a 
It's like a. Um, what is that? Alien? Like, yeah, you get it. Yeah, no. Clever twist. Anyways, it's just like a bunch of LA. Uh, I'm an independent band. So anyone, of, anyone of note? Yeah, who's of note here? Uh, Yo, this sucks. I haven't. Surf punks. I don't know any of these. Oh, Bingo, boy, yeah, there we go. See? I don't know if I got that on camera. <laughs> well, whatever. Yeah, it'll, it'll, it'll sort itself out. I was out. trying to read it, but I can't. Read da, it. Da, da, ba, ba, da, da, ba, ba. Classic. You play that one yet? No. I out. keep forgetting. Yeah. Because I get, I get too distracted with 77 over and over and over again. So good. And then. I want to get more uh, energy. <laughs> so I'll go to like, 77 doesn't give you energy? Oh, it does sometimes. It gets slower, you know what I mean? So I, it's a pretty coked up record, I think. That's what I always associate with Talking Heads music. Is for no reason. I don't, they're not throwing around any wild accusations. Dylan Boot, classic. Uh, I just feel like it's very like uptight, coked up, kind of paranoid <laughs> music. Yeah. Based on nothing. I don't know, my own prejudices or something. YouTube comments. Hey, we got one. Um, giving a shout out to our shout out for last week's recommendation of, of disembowelment, transcendence into the peripheral. So thanks y'all. Um, as always, you can leave a comment in the YouTube section and we'll uh, talk about it next week. Give some shout outs. All right, I think that's all I got. You got anything no. you want to add? No, I'm good. You good? Right. Yeah. That's cool. Well, anyways, thanks everyone. See you later. Da 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 ba ba da da ba ba.